Hey everyone, Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. This week I have another tutorial about Divi and it's a quick one. So I'm just gonna show you how to style the success message that appears after someone submits a form using the Divi contact form. All right, so there's some text that appears and there's no settings to do this in Divi. So I'm just gonna show you quickly how you can style that to match the rest of your site. And you may think that this sounds like a simple thing, and it is, but you know, you want everything on your site to be cohesive and you know, fit the rest of your brand and, and be professional. So let's just go ahead and do it. Um, all right, it's gonna be uh, two quick steps, very quick. So the first thing we're gonna do is add a CSS class. So um, if you're on YouTube, make sure you're following along on the blog post. So just copy that right there, right? All right, so just go to the contact form, open up the settings, the advanced tab here, CSS, ID, and classes, and then paste the class right there. So it's PA contact form success message. All right, and then save that. Oh, and I could point out while you're in here, um, right here's the message I've wrote that. Um, I just wrote something, you know, kind of generic, but you can write whatever, of course. Um, and then, you know, once someone is actually filling out the form and they click submit, that's when we'll see the text. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we go, submit. And we get this text right here. This is just a, uh, a placeholder text. But anyway, what we're worried about is right here. So it's, you know, pretty generic. Um, I don't know, what if you wanted to, to you know, Make it a little better. All right, step two. Um, it's just a snippet. And what I actually did here, in fact, what I may do just for, um, yeah, just for fun. Let's see if I can do this. Uh, go here, and I'll show you what I did. You can paste that whole snippet. But I, what I did, I, I went like that. I started, right? I'm using a Chrome extension called User CSS. That's the class that you need, and that's really all you need and then you go for it right so I'm just gonna start writing like uh, uh, font size right so maybe I want it to be like 28 pixels right sure um, collar maybe I want it to be red um, maybe the line height because you know when it bumps to another line so maybe I'll make it 1.7 ems uh, let's see what else could I do you know uh, maybe I want it to be bold Oh, wait, bold. Maybe I want there to be like in a box, you know? Maybe I want, want it to be in a box. So I could say, um, or I could say border, you know, two pixels solid, um, black maybe. How about add some padding, you know, whatever. <laughs> and uh, border radius. I'm just showing you that you can do whatever you want, okay? Um, all you really need is that class, the ETPB contact message, and then you go ahead and style it using the properties and values of your choice. All right, so you can see uh, what I did here, and it kind of made it stand out, didn't it? Um, really gets the point across that, hey, you know, thank you, we're gonna get back to you, whatever. All right, that's, as simple as this tutorial is. Now, if you're not into that CSS stuff, um, we do have this in our plugin, the Divi Contact Form Helper. Basically, this plugin adds a whole bunch of settings to the existing Contact Form module. Um, so let me just show you that real quick. Here's the little bit of settings we have by default. Watch what happens when I go here and activate our plugin, the Divi Contact Form Helper. Um, you can purchase that on our website, but as soon as I do that, let's take a look what all is changed. So it adds settings all through here, all the tons of settings, right? One of those settings um, is the design tab right here, the success message. So here is all this stuff that, you know, remember I made it red, I could do that, or remember I made it, um, I could change the font, or I could make it bold or italic. Um, Oh, that's the background color. It would be like that. And then maybe I want it to be still white. Or maybe like I was adding a 10 pixel border, I could do it right here. Right here, I could change that and 
make that black and add a box shadow. You know, all this stuff, you know, the padding's right here. All, using the familiar Divi settings. So you have the choice, you know, use CSS or if you already own um, our plugin, then by all means, just use the plugin, right? Makes it nice with these settings. So there you go. Hope you enjoy that nice little quick tutorial. Uh, we're going to have a lot more tutorials on the contact form coming up soon. So stay tuned. You can be subscribed here. Every week we do a new tutorial related to Divi. All right. Well, we'll see you all in our next video.